Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we have jumped planets. Let's have a quick look here. So the planet that we were on was held by Clan Wolf uh, right here. Uh, Miara. And we just jumped over here. It's a two and a half skull planet. Um, it is 33% controlled by Clan Wolf. So I think we want to try and help Valkyrie, uh, the Valkyrie out here today. And try and defeat some Clan um, targets. So we're going to attempt to do that. So, yeah, uh, I got the mechs all fixed up. Basically, I just replaced the component, the uh, Tier 3 uh, um, patchwork materials on the um, Griffin. Uh, or sorry, the Shadowhawk. I had to replace it with Tier 2. I had to take a few points of armor off just to be able to balance it out a little bit. But uh, other than that, that's done, and everyone else is fixed here, with the exception of this Bushwhacker, which... Uh, we're still kind of waiting on getting back, but we've got uh, four mechs to run with today, so we're going to do that. And I want to take a bit of a challenge today again. Um, we know what it's like to fight the clan mechs, but I want to take a little bit of a challenge. We're going to take Meat Grinder here. It's two elite lances of clan wolf holding an important area. So, um, yeah, let's let's just go full salvage on this sucker and see what we can do here. Uh, payment's not that great, but uh, it's a good test of our skills to fight clan mechs. Plus, we might be able to pick up a few... Uh, uh, a few extra things here to uh, adjust the um, our max a little bit better. I want to relay out this bushwhacker, thinking about dropping the Gauss rifle and adding another like ER large or a pair of ER larges or something. I don't know yet, uh, but we'll definitely. I want definitely want to pull the Gauss out of this guy. Um, and the Griffin, I think, is running just fine with the uh, uh, all the SRMs on it. Uh, Shadowhawk's running great. Black Knight's working much better now with the uh, TSMs. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, let's see what we're up against here. It's going to be an honorable fight, so keep your eyes open. Eh? Well, really? All right, so... Yeah. Standing by. Um, can I move Embrace here? They got the range, so... Let's be very careful about this. That plus, hopefully, we can use some stealth on this one a little bit. Little bit. Switch one of these to acid. I keep hitting the wrong spot. And hot damn. Let's get up here. Still love that name. It's pretty awesome. Switch one of these to acid as well. It's brace. Okay, what do we got here? Kit Fox. I'm expecting mostly light light mechs. Um, uh, okay. You got hostile contacts inbound. Thanks for that. Let's get warmed up. Uh, let's shoot, uh, here. Let's get warmed up. Jenner. Ah, I hate those guys. Maybe we can hit him and kill him early. What else we got? Mad Cat 3. Griffin 2C, Crab B, another Crab, Kid Fox, Little Friend, Figures, hate that guy. Been nice to have some long range firepower on this one, but we don't have today, so. Yeah, you know what? Hang on one second here. Sorry about that, I had the Discord going in the background. Not Disco, Discord. Uh, let's fire on this guy. It's going to keep bleeping if, if I uh, leave it open, so I had to shut it down. Man, when this Black Knight gets close, it's going to be over for these guys. I wonder if we should just peel off now and go left and just plow through these guys and get the hill up here. I think that's just out of range for the SRM, so I think we'd have to sprint. Let's do it. Get in the trees here. Want to at least be able to shoot this guy. Uh, fire! Oh, got a lot of leg hits on that one. Looks like we got the acid on him. 
Maybe we should have waited for the missile bushwhacker to come back. Minimal damage on that hit. I'm receiving you. You're gonna be out of range with everything, aren't you? Let's move down in here and brace. I should just charge straight down that road. <laughs> just straight down here. With the Black Knight, I just right, wade right through these guys. That's what I should do. Pull these guys into here. Nah. I'm still thinking it's better to go right. Better to go right and then come around. That little friend being back there has got me concerned, though. Yes, Commander. Get to a point where the little friend can't see us. And then let's just fire here. Nice and toasty. It's okay. Uh, you won't need to vent. <laughs> You'll be venting just fine next turn. Yep, they know the threat. Just wondering how we're going to get through. I guess these three guys should move through here. The screams of the dying people. God damn it. the crab? That's the crab. I think we want to try and take advantage as much as we can on this guy here. See if we can pull him down for now. I think that was a leg hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yep. Yep, he's gone down. Time to capitalize a little bit on that if we can. Roger. Uh, let's go here. He's already got acid on him. Do we go dead fire? Nah, I'm thinking we're going to save the dead fire for when it's really needed. We don't need it on this guy. Yeah. Didn't need it on this guy. But we will need it later on. Okay. Score one for the good guys. Let's get some speed up. Some speed and some evasion. What do we got on you? Nothing. And nothing. That's 4, 5.8. A little better on this guy. Let's just fire on him. Got, got the rounds. Might as well use them. Light that area up. Wow, I shot them all down. Screw you! He's a test pilot, man. Oh, if Megasaur can see somebody this turn, somebody's going to be in a lot of pain. Little friend, come on. Going to have to reserve her. I got to get somebody around to spot them. Who's going first here? Oh, the Jenner. He must be really fast. Stripping my armor away, though, that guy. Ah, nice move. Holding for tactical advantage. Yep. Please do. Hope we can get eyes on that little friend. OK. 
Come on. So as mentioned in the comments section, I think the one of the next series I'd like to try, because um, a friend of mine, a friend of mine at work, and I, we were somehow we came up with this ridiculous comic idea of a guy named Suicidal Samurai, who's just trying to get himself killed, but no matter whatever he does, he just can't get himself killed. So my thought was, it would just be the the group would be called Suicidal Samurais, and they're just like all melee mechs. I need eyes on this little friend, so we're going to take it like this. And I'm going to do Vigilance, because I want to move faster than that Jenner, I think, next turn. Yeah, because he's got the rotary AC-20. So we're going to fire on this guy. And the Black Knight's going to do its business here in a second. Shit, he went before me. Okay, that guy was fast. You think you're smart, do you? Jesus Christ. You hit me for 37, so I'm not sure... Or 39, whatever it was, damage per hit. I'm not sure why it was so low. I mean, there's the tree... This, the tree is giving me some defense, but... Look at all those lasers and shiz on that guy. They got so many guys that go before me now. For a second there, I thought those lasers were coming from behind. I'm like, what? They got a third lance? Wonder how much armor that little friend has on his back. 50, 25 in the CT, really. Really bad chances to hit, though. I can't rely on that. What I can rely on... ...is the dead fire to do the job on this guy's back. That's a lot of weapons. That we'll be taking off of the field. You just don't know who you're dealing with, do you, son? It's really sad that... Oh, he's starting a fire. It's really sad that we don't get much salvage off this, though. A lot of nice stuff that we could be getting here, but... Ah, oh, man, it's not the optimal positioning, is it? Um, yeah, I think we got to go that route. I think we just shoot on this guy. Uh, I'm going to double it up and go um, acid on both. Want to land at least one round on him? Okay, good. What's up, boss? Where's my horns at, people? Where are my horns at? I'm going to come in from this side. 72.5%, that's it, eh? This gives us how much more?
plus two to hit. Let's make sure we get him. Can't have that rack firing again. Here it comes, folks. Let's hope we hit. Ooh. Okay, this first lance is almost gone. We'll take out the Shadowhawk here in a second. So, got the instability on me here. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to punch this guy this turn, so we are going to shoot him for sure. Unsettled, huh? He's going to go before us, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know if if uh, Megasaur is going to get a shot on him. He may run back here or something. If it was me, I'd be either going behind here to split, to uh, completely separate us and have to face both ways, or I would run back here to try and save myself. The best bet is to move back here. See what he does. Huh, okay. Okay. It's weird, this, uh, both the Shadowhawk and the Black Knight now seem, I don't know. They do when they when they get in close and they can actually do what they're designed to do. They work well, but for the most part, if you're trying to play a large, ah, fuck you. Well, we were planning on replacing the large lander. Um, you know, if we're if we're playing a long range game like most of the missions seem to be now, they're really not that effective. Alright, let's switch out the dead fire. I want to keep it for later. Acid's already on this guy firing. Okay, first lance almost gone. We should be able to pull this guy down this turn. Ah, we're not hot enough. It's okay, we'll warm up here. Targeting for now. Commander? You please shut this guy's ass down. Christ, I'm about to set everything on fire now. Some people, just like me, just want to watch the world burn. Jesus Christ, look at the flames. <laughs> oh, ah. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Just burn the whole thing down. You're going to reserve. I want to see if any of these guys move in closer. <laughs> The fire. He's he's like fuck. I ain't going over there. That's not a good idea. Shot my fucking arm off. I got both my major weapons gone now. Let's just shoot him in the fucking head.
I don't really mind them targeting the back armor at this point. That way when we actually go to turn around and fight them, the uh, front armor will, will have less damage on it. Yeah, let's not burn everything down. Let's just do this. See if we can finish them up. Hope we can salvage that. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Okay, can't see me there. Commander. How far can you sprint? <laughs> Should we make him worried? Uh, if we're going to do it, let's vigilance this. Let's make this work. Roger. Full speed. How many do we need here? Just two, I think. Yep, just two. Roger that. Order. Oh yes, that worked out just well. Just perfectly. Stay in the forest. Sorry, it's just so funny. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying too. When you lose like an arm or you've taken mech losses, like pilot losses, it's just so satisfying when shit like that happens. You know what I mean? If you go, if you watch my uh, uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn episode that's posted today, you'll know exactly what I mean. Oh, well, hello there. So, my left side is okay. The right side, not so much. So, let's turn this way. And let's Warlord it. Because why not? We'll fire on this guy. Gotta get out there and help, guys. Sixty percent damage reduction. Good luck with that. Come on, let's do this. You just set your own guy on fire, but whatever. You know the benefit of the bonus thing about this with Hot Dam pulling up the rear, is now she can set this entire area on fire and it's only gonna help out, <laughs> only gonna help out Megasaur. Just set Megasaur on fire, man, it's fine. She likes it hot. Waiting for orders. Actually, can we get behind the guy? Nah, I was hoping we could get behind the, uh, the Jenner, but we can't. So I'm going to just try and get a little closer if I can here. Uh, let's throw up some acid if we can and fire. Ah, no acid. All right. Oh, we, how close can we get here? Let's come around this way. Ah, we can't get to flamer range. Let's just fire acid. Maybe we get lucky. Right. Nope. I missed. This Jenner's going to go next, probably. Good thing I got good back armor. Nope. Okay. Light damage. Holding firm. Okay. No.
now the Jenner's going to go? Regardless, these guys are in melee range. There's nothing they can do about it now. Look at the smoke, man. Fuck you. Oh, 34%. That's it, eh? There's 99. Here we go. Saw the connection on that one. Bye. Oh, still alive. Still alive. Wow, we dismembered his whole side, though. Whoa. Let's go for a pilot hit. Okay, we got one. Yes, Commander. I love saving my my dead fire for moments like this. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Firing at all. I got it. Target's taken a critical hit. Lots of ammo explosions though. No kill. Yeah, it didn't come close, but pretty damn good damage. We had a better chance to hit, it wouldn't have been so bad. That's why I didn't move into the trees. We would have had more protection, but, um, wow, really. We would have had way more protection, but, uh, wasn't really too concerned about that. Yes, Commander. I really wanted to get the, uh, wait, where are we? Oh, we're on the hill. Damn it, I thought we were down here. Yeah, we got lots of heat sinking. That's just fire. Standing by. Understood. Moving fast. Firing all weapons. Jenner's going to go now. Let's see what he does here. He got 38 heat from us. He's going to get 30 more from being in the fire. So if he, if he shoots, which he did, depends on his heat sinking, right? Yeah, I think we use the ER larges on the bushwhackers. And just have them at the back, just pick, picking people off from a distance. Sorry buddy, but you've been a real problem for us, so I'm just going to melt your mech. I'm going to fucking melt it into the ground. Wow, he moved into kill range. Let's get into here. Yeah, let's go after another headshot. No headshot, huh? Yupper. Standing by. Oop. Moving out. 
Only you can start forest fires. You're running out of friends, buddy. Like this guy. Think I hit something good. Oh, he's still standing up. Impressive. I can't hit him though. I can now. That's too far. Let's go into here. Mech's on fire. Uh, we're going to switch this to LK. Better chance to hit. Turn off one of the ER mediums and fire away. Going down. Inflicted some heavy damage. You just rest. You just rest right there. Uh, let's just reserve. This guy hasn't gone yet. Standing by. Okay, well, we might as well CT this guy. See if we can kill him. Nope. Stressed out, though. Bar B Q Come on buddy, bail out. Dude, figure out what you're doing. Yeah, nice try. You're not like you could do anything. Orders. Don't want to completely obliterate this guy. Fire. One less target. I'll get some salvage off that. Not that it matters, because, you know... Uh, just because this guy's been an asshole, shoot for his head. I'm here. Fry this fucker, will ya? Fire it. Burn, you fucker. Mission successful. Oh, wow, that's... Are you kidding me? Contract payment increased by 80%, huh? That's crazy. Well, we only made 104,000. It's not even going to cover our repairs, man. You kidding me? Look at that. The Griffin and Black Knight cleaning up there. All right. Uh, I don't think we're going to go for mech parts. We lost an ER large. Let's grab another one. Laser AMS we've got. So much good clan stuff here. Enhanced imaging. Double heat sinks. I think I want a Clan XL engine if there is one here. Patchwork materials. Look at them all. Double heat sinks. Put a double heat sinks. Got four of them right now. I'd like to have another one. TTS weapons, nice, but you need to have a Clan cockpit installed to be able to use it. Uh, wow, that's it, eh? We really trash the shit from these guys. Tracker sensors are nice. Put a double heat sinks are nice. Um. That plus one accuracy, though, it's kind of really nice. <sighs> We're going to have plenty of opportunity to pick up other stuff. Just thinking in the immediate right now. So let's go with those for now, and let's see what we get. Yeah, we just trashed these fuckers. Pardon, for, pardon me for my swearing, but I'm still a little bit upset about uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. All right, two crowd pieces. Uh, clan ER medium, clan micro. 
Another light tag. We got two of those now. Oh, seven five ton uh, patchwork materials. Excellent. And Artemis ammo. All right. Not bad. Not bad. One hundred seventy-seven thousand. Yeah. Twenty-four days. Eh. Ouch. All right. Let's manage our tasks. So, yeah. The other bushwhackers almost back. Let's do those guys first. Um, uh, don't think it really matters which way we go order wise. So let's go with this 17 days. eh? once our financial report, eight days. Well, we're okay. We got enough for that. So let's get these guys fixed. And right after that, let's have a look here. We got the other bushwhacker back now. We should have anyway. Should have. Yep. All right. Let's refit this guy. Got a bit of work to do. So yeah, we, we lost all the, the clan LRMs and stuff on this guy, so let's refit them. I don't think we actually have any more clan LRMs and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't. Got to improve the ATMs though. 540 meter range. So they're accurate. Um, Thunderbolt 10s, 50 damage. MMLs. Either that or we go with the laser build. This guy's really built more for uh, ballistic and missile though. Um, we could keep the LRM-10s and then load it out with something different. You know what? I wonder if we go with an Ultra 20 build on this guy. Do we have the ability? We got ultra. We got four tons of ultra twenty ammo. It's ten turns of continuous firing. Do we have a clan ultra twenty though? Would have to be a clan ultra twenty. Got a clan ultra ten. This is the command console mech though. Maybe that's why we're having such a hard time. We got to get this guy back into play. So if we do go missile route, I mean, I think we do have some bonus damage LRMs here. Plus 80 range. I thought we had, that's accuracy. More likely to be intercepted. Plus 30% chance to be intercepted. Recoil plus one. Whatever happened to our bonus damage ones? Huh. SM9. Now I know we do have SM ammo. Pretty sure we do. Uh, LRM narc. Yeah, we got one ton. Ninety shots. That's ten turns of a continuous fire. That's actually a good possibility all right let's pull let's actually just repair everything pull the stuff out of here we're going to use the sm9 we definitely wanted to have it in the arm i think it's only four tons too if i'm not mistaken it's really lightweight yeah it's only four tons let's drop the sm9 in now the question is do we have improved atm ammo that's another option. This guy wouldn't be totally long range, um, but be long enough. See, the SM9 fires how much? Nine rounds, right? Yeah, so this is 10 turns of ammo. So we can swap out. Let's 
the normal ammo. So the improved ATM, I think it's only 60 rounds, yeah. And the improved ATM we have is a 9, right? Yeah, so it's not very many rounds of firing if we load this guy in. That's like, what, six and a half turns of firing? Hmm. Now we do have MMLs which can switch between LRM and SRM ammo. The thing is, is we could throw these guys on instead of the LRMs. These are four, these are two and a half tons. Though. That's the thing, right? It's it's all comes down to weight, right? Per number of missiles thrown. Although we could leave these two in. Could leave those two in. If we go to patchwork materials now. Um, we got a 0.75 ton we can put back in. Right? Then we can go and put in. Uh, where are you here? Like an MML7. Which will allow me to use the LRM ammo with it as well. Right, we can drop that in here. And then we can grab, oops, uh, I want to stay here. We can grab a, a ton of SRM dead fire ammo, which we can change the MML to when we're in close range. Which will incre increase the punch of it. That's kind of an interesting loadout. Let's see how this works out. So, I mean, it's not really a heavy, like, long-range mech. It's not really a heavy short-range mech. It's just kind of this balance. This will give us bonus to hit for our guys. Yeah, one improved accuracy against this target. Multiple effects do not stack. It doesn't really matter. As long as we hit once, that's all that matters. It's basically a... A little overweight clan LRM9. As a target painter using uh, using tag ammo or narc ammo that is. Uh, okay so yeah let's confirm that. It's only four days. We'll get that repaired. Okay. Uh, let's see, 12. That's, yeah, so in 12 days we should have everything back. Okay, let's advance. I've got the financial There's the financial report. Now, we do have a few things we could sell. I did sell off a bunch of junk between episodes just to have enough sea bills to travel and not have to worry, like, if we took a major loss like we just did, that we have time to repair. There we go. All right, now let's see what we can do here. Man, we gotta find more weapon mounts. All right, we could run with the other lance as it is, but I think I want to load this guy up. Ah, there goes the weapon mount. All right, let's. There's nothing else to repair here. Um, so we do have. Where are you here? Just going to try something real quick here. That. Um, we got four clan ER large lasers. Oh, we've only got one hard point in each arm. That's what it was. Right. And the other two were in the center. So we can't go full energy build. Although we could go that route. And use the rest for... Uh, Heat sinking. And what if we change out the double heat sink kit? Right? Pull that out. And we go and use our 
the uh, prototype double heatsink kit. We got four prototype double heatsinks. Let's see if that's going to help in any kind of way here. Goss ammo can come out. Wow, we're really underweight here. We could fit a hell of a lot more in this guy. It's the heat efficiency doing here. That's pretty good. Although the problem now is, is that we don't have... You know what? This guy should be running the command console. I think this guy should be running the command console. Yeah, that's a good possibility. I mean, we could put a defensive gyro in, which will help. What else? Well, yeah, combat shield, reduce damage. Grant's bulwark. No, we don't have any TTSs, no. These things are great, but you have to be really close. Decays by five per range, right? So, see the thing about these, these cockpits, and I think I mentioned this before, you get plus six accuracy with ranged weapons, right? Uh, QC, uh, CQB accuracy decreases every 60 meters, right? So within 60 meters, you got plus six ac accuracy, Within 120 meters, you have, uh, or from 61 to 120 meters, you have plus one accuracy, and after that, you have nothing. Plus three initiative, plus two injury resists. So at range, it's useless. If you're, like, this is like, really great for a point blank mech. That's it, really. You know what? I think if we do put the command con cockpit in this, we're going to be losing our pl like, plus two to hit. However, we can throw, I think we can throw the Artemis system in the other one and use Artemis ammo. Right, enhanced imaging, tracker sensor, the missiles would have way better chance to hit. We could even put this in if we wanted to. See, this thing is the same. So you get it's plus five accuracy if you're in close. After that, it's zero. But it's got thermal vision and everything included in it. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. Can't get any e-cooling in this guy, unfortunately. You know, the, yeah, the, I think the smart thing might be to put the command console in the Flamehawk once we get... Um, the uh, extra light engine in it, or the light engine in it. We should probably be able to do it at that point. However, we could swap out this. It's heavier, but it's doing more for us. So what do we got now? A little better. We can't reduce our heat anymore, unfortunately. Um, we have any support points? We do. So let's get a laser AMS in here. Let's drop it in. And let's drop in We have a light tag. We do have light tags. What's the range on these guys? 210. Oh, that's a fluid gun. Ah, where are we here? 510. Tagger is what? 400, but it gives you a plus 2 to hit with the tagger. Regular tag is 510. Hmm. It's half a ton. Let's do that. 
one ton left over. I think maybe what we do, I think these are volatile, right? Yeah, so let's put them here. With the last ton, we're going to put some case in. Just to protect all those systems from causing damage to the torso if they get hit. Uh, where's our case two? Here we go. We're going to do this. So let's see how this guy performs. The three ER large lasers, long range firepower. Let's confirm this. Okay, now I want to adjust a couple things before we get into battle here. So let's refit the Shadowhawk for a second. Now we don't have the sea bills to put an engine in. I'd love to be able to put a, a, an engine in this thing. Oh yeah, too. By the way, I'm thinking about, I'm really thinking about putting the pirate engine into the um, into the uh, Black Knight. You got plus 40 sprint and walking distance. Um, and 20 heat per turn when activated. Although it's got a 10% chance of failure on activation, but the when it fails, it does a critical hit to itself, which will cause an extra 15 heat per turn. Right? So, yeah, it does a crit hit to itself, but it also adds more heat, which means it makes the the uh, TSMs even work even better. We can turn this on and off. So when we want to attack somebody, and our TSMs are up, we turn this thing on. Right? The only thing is that we're going to be losing some weight. But I think that's a huge possibility. I really want to try that. So I think just going to throw that out there just because I, I really want to get into trying that and see how much that's going to help. Because I think that will help a tremendous amount with it, with that Black Knight for sure. All right, so XL engine in here would be 1 million. And a light engine is 726,000. So, which we really can't do. Now, if I had to pull three tons out of this, what would I do? It would be the clan, or the, who would be the uh, SRMs, unfortunately. There's no other way. I mean, we could pull out the NSS, and we can pull out the uh, defensive gyro, but then it's leaving this guy vulnerable. I don't want to do that. Um... And our pilot's really weak on uh, targeting, so we should leave this in here. Okay, well, let's leave this for now, then. Actually, you know what? Um, you got tracker sensors. And you don't have any recoil. So let's do... Let's put a range finder in here. Because you're usually in close. And that's going to give you at least the ability... To spot more enemies quicker for the Black Knight. So let's confirm that. Because I'm thinking I want to go back and pull out the command console. I'll let you know when that's done. Uh, I don't know. It's really going to depend. Well, you know what? I'll worry about it later. Let's just uh, get these guys repaired and get into a battle. All right. So it's going to depend on the contracts, what mechs we think we use. I think I think if we want to try and capture a mech, we'll use the Flamehawk. Otherwise, we won't. All right. Renegade. Assassinate mission. Uh, took a Vercurian mech. Actually, before we even start, let's have a look at the uh, star map just to see if we actually did anything to the planet here. Probably. Uh, we're up here. All right, what am I looking at? Clan Wolf still 33%, eh? Didn't affect it at all? Even though we're taking Vulcrit missions here? Nothing happened, eh? Huh. Let's take another one. See what happens. If we can actually do anything. Um, bargaining chip. Capturing a base. Let's do this one. Three skull. Should be no problem. Full salvage because clan stuff. Alright. 
Um, let's change things up a bit. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to bring the bushwhacker in this time. Although, if you want to capture mechs, that one's probably the better way to go. But we got turrets. Maybe. Kill or capture, guys. We got good salvage. I'm thinking, well... Black Knight's the backup, though. Let's go this. Well, this has got the command console, though. <sighs> Do we want to go too ranged and too close? See, the Griffins really are hard, are are punchy mech right now, but with the three clan ER larges on this one, it might be punchier to go with this one, and then. Maybe this way. Well, let's try this and see how it goes. We gotta test it out somehow. Let's just deploy this and get it done. Okay, let's capture this base. Ah, oh, all right. This is okay. the first, the map, first map I ever played on when I started my series, different series. But that was quite a while ago. Let's get in a little close, really, here, and then we'll slow down. Yes, Commander. Ugh. Sure. Sure. What's up, boss? Roger. Full speed. Christ, you know what? I really got to stop putting my mechs close together. Keep forgetting about the the uh, arty turrets and stuff. Receiving you. We got mechs and turrets, eh? Let's keep ourselves nice and warm. Missed. You hit exactly what I wanted you to. We got a Raptor 2, Ambusher, Centurion, and someone else back there. Standard turret, standard turret, hardened sniper turret, and something else back here. So we can't let that sniper turret sh shoot us. Come on. What the fuck was that? Targeting, please. Shooting. Waiting for orders. Spread out. Spread out. Affirmative. All right, now, what can we hit back here? Yeah, see everything. Um, let's just switch to LK. And LK. MML7's... Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's in the arm, that's right. Uh, 275, eh? Well, let's fire on the turret. Don't like the, the idea of that sniper turret being back there. Alright guys, what are you doing? Yes, Commander. Gotta be careful about my ammo too. Huh, it's all our range, eh? No line of fire. Ah, alright, never mind. I was hoping to put some flame up and cause some smoke, but not a big deal. We'll probably barbecue the Centurion or the Ambusher next turn. Most likely be the Ambusher.
Ох. If we're gonna do this, we gotta be in range. Shut the hell up, Darius. I'm in the middle of a fight here. Can't you see we got a fight going on? Alright, not bad. Alright, what are they doing? Oh, it's a white. Okay. Standing by. All right. Let's see if we can overwork this turret here. Oh, I still got a lot of armor left, eh? It's got to go away. I do not want to be engaging that. Okay, let's see if we can do some heavy damage to this guy. I keep forgetting that she's like completely a novice. Oh, we got one hit. Shot down all my missiles. Alright, a little bit of smoke happening. Mega Swords in murder range anyway, so. Come on. Calliope turret, eh? It's a lot of ones, buddy. It's a handful of threes, buddy. Freaking air bursts. Oh, I can't, uh... Alright, that's what I want to do. I want to multi this up. That guy should probably only take one more hit. But just to be safe, we're going to fire two. Ooh, good thing I shot two. Huh. Yeah. That's alright. Look at this fire, it's awesome. Uh huh. Enjoy that, buddy. Enjoy it while it lasts. Burn strength duration 30 for one turn, and I'm okay with that. Uh, 98% from this side, so let's come in from the side. Don't mind being on fire, I like being a little warm. How's it going, eh? Ready for orders. Oh, 
Hardened Lerm turret. See if we can switch this up to dead fire. Nope. Hey, MML is supposed to be able to switch between... Uh, Does it just not give me the ability to use it? Ah, well, 50, 135, not anywhere near enough to kill this turret. But let's use it, hammer this turret anyway. Crap, AMS, eh? All right, fire. Uh, everybody's got an AMS nowadays. It almost makes using missiles completely useless. Ah, uh, he's flanking us. You go ahead. We'll see you later. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a laser AMS on all my guys now. I keep saying that. I haven't done it yet. Although I do have like three or four extras now. Damage minimal. Sure as hell is. What is up? Targeting for Hi. Target neutralized. Something like says that he didn't doesn't enjoy visitors. Something just telling me that. I'm on fire. Let's fire this guy. Make it a little easier to hit. You finally coming back? He's like, I'm. Oh, I'm just. I know. I'm. No, guys. No, really. I was just flanking. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. Got a, we have better results on this guy, so let's fire on this guy. By results, meaning number of hits and damage. Oh, nice! Not so much the percentage chance to hit, but the fact this guy was shooting the missiles down. Missiles are only good if they're actually hitting their target. Look at the fire everywhere. Yeah, I think maybe they need to reanalyze how much fire and the spread. I love the mechanic, but uh, if you think about it, the laser shouldn't be able to shoot through smoke, right? It would just all it would just reflect off all the particles. Moving out. All right, let's burn this guy up. It sure as hell is. Can you work on that next turret, please? I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. That's alright, we'll take care of them. That's alright. You're in vehicles. It's a joust. Ah, uh, joust kidding. Oh my god, that was a terrible joke. Let's move up here. Turret, maybe? Way better chances to hit. Uh, I'm gonna need to leave one of these. Actually, I don't have to leave anything off. Screw that. I'm not leaving not a damn laser off. What? Really? 
Even with Warlord, it didn't take it down enough? Wow. Probably because I'm on fire. Gotta stop being on fire. Ready for orders. Although, you don't have to stop being on fire. It helps you out. Let's sprint it down here. Let's keep it nice and hot here. Eh. What's up, boss? Heading out. Seventy nine percent with the SM, really? Let's multi target that then. Okay, you're going after B. Use that on A. So no way to switch. I gotta figure out how to switch between because uh, MMLs are multiple missile launchers. They're supposed to use SRM or LRM ammo, I believe. Not exactly sure why the dead fire is not showing up. Multiple Everyone's probably screaming, "You're an idiot! This you gotta do something!" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm ADHD and <laughs> I don't read shit half the time." Sorry. As much as I'd love to be able to do that, my brain just doesn't work that way. It's frustrating as hell. It's fine at work, though. Don't need to read at work. I just look at the pictures, damn it. Just look at the pictures. That's all I gotta do. And it explains to me what needs to be done. Next on fire! Um, wow, that's like really hot. Not that hot though. I don't want to turn that one off. Turn this one off. There we go. That's not bad. Let's burn up the terrain. Oh, we got one hit too. Nice. 26 heat. Every little bit helps. Okay, now that the turret's gone, take care of this white. Yeah, he's got to cut. He's got to like cool himself off. Ooh, sun spider. Commander. Uh, you don't quite have the range to go after that guy, but let's get you up here because I want you in range against the sun spider. So I got to think what I want to keep now because we got four of seven, uh, four of four of seventeen. Yeah. Keep ourselves nice and warm. Start some more fires. Because we're good like that. No Alright, let's deal with this raptor. Oh, that sun spider's going to be able to see us, eh? Oh, it's a vapor eagle. Uh, let's get off this hill. Let's get over here. Um, yep, yeah, just drop two on him. Oh, wow, okay. Actually hit, I thought they were all going to miss. Oh, here he comes. Big mistake. Big mistake. Okay, I'm not going to have you fire yet. Actually, let me see here. Now, if you're in range... No, it's not working. Something's up. Something's up. Yeah, it's just fire the alarms. We got the ammo. Soften them up a little bit. Barbecue. We're gonna have ourselves a barbecue. Um. Yeah, let's get some heat back. 
Ooh, only 102, huh? He's a little toasty. Little toasty. So we got a Sun Spider, Vapor Eagle, and a Joust so far. Raptors still. Black, might, Black Knight is set up for the kill. We just need to get eyes on. And Epona. Okay. Receiving you. Uh, let's reserve. Yes, Commander. So... That, this, this, and where's the sun spider? Right? Yeah. So it's got an ultra 20 and another ultra 20. <laughs> oh, let's get some SM on him. Okay, nice. Full yeah, we're on fire again. And we're just going to go with one. Shoot this guy straight in the back. He's just staying back there, eh? Standing by. No shooting. Okay, Try. keep myself warm. Fire three. Alright, what are you doing, guys? Okay, Raptor is running away. Now, where can we get up and stuff? We can go this way. Let's get into here. And let's leave the acid on. And we're going to brace here. Or end our turn here, that is. Those Ultra 20s, we can't let them shoot. How far is he going to move? That's the question. So the Joe still has to go. Come on, where are you going, buddy? Where are you at? Oh, Pona. Moving back. Joe's moving up. Okay. okay reserve Megasaur. Uh, we got to cool off. So let's just move back here. So these lasers still having major cooling problems and we shouldn't be because the way I set everything up it shouldn't be that shouldn't be that bad. Confirmed. I think we can bait the sun spider. Think we can bait him? Yeah, it's only 3% difference in chance to hit. Yeah, that's fire. Ah, we hit a few other people. Well, we hit the uh, Vapor Eagle anyway. Ah. <sighs> I want to see what they're doing. Waiting for the right move. Uh huh. Come on, man. Show me what you got. Here he comes. He's just going to move up here, probably.
Yeah, I'm trying to get eyes on with him. It's okay. I want to do with this. Let's go this way. Let's get something moving here. Ugh. Got it. I know I lost my heat, that's fine. Standing by. That is just fine. Moving at full throttle. Okay, firing on this guy. Got to keep my eye on how this hill is working here. Don't want to get shot by those AC-20s by accident. Alright, I'm going to Warlord this guy. And firing. Here and we're gonna fire everything, which is the reason why I didn't want to fire last time. Okay. I don't want to step on him because then I lose all of my heat at that point. Okay, this is going back to LK. I'm gonna target this guy and firing. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, that sun spider terrifies me. We gotta really focus on him now. How the hell does he see me? All right, I think he's in barbecue range. Be nice to get a Clan Ultra 20. Okay. I think he is in. I don't know. We gotta run through the fire to get to him. Uh huh. I guess. Yeah, yeah, they can hit me from there, all right. They can certainly do some damage from there. Let's target this raptor. Get away from this line of sight. Shit, I just lost visual on Sun Spider. That's bad. Standing 
It's the base of the cliff. Let's just hammer this guy again. Gonna leave the SM off. Gonna save the ammo for the Sun Spider. Far can you go with the sprint? Not very far. Mm, don't need to fire that many. Three? Sure. God, it's such a bad chance to hit. Ooh. Let's just burn the terrain around him. Engaging target. Or around myself. That works too. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Is he milling? Oh, it's the vapor eagle. I thought, I thought for a second there was a sun spider milling. I'm like, what? Dude, you got an Ultra 20. Dude, you got an Ultra 20. You just put yourself in kill range. That's a gift. They got... Melee should be turned off for clans. Well, not off for all clan mechs, but maybe for Omni mechs. Although the big thing I'm noticing now that I've kind of gone back to my more quick, fluid method of playing, um, seem to be taking a lot less hits against me. The me their enemy are back to meleeing a lot more. Uh, let's stand in the fire and hit him so we can at least get some heat. Sure. Location confirmed. What's up, Bubba? That hit something good. Why don't you just take a nap? Just relax. You don't need to fight the rest of this battle. Just relax there. Uh, but I do want your other leg. I want this leg right here. You don't you don't need that leg, do you? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Commander. All right, let's eat the back of this vapor eagle for breakfast. Okay, what's this guy's leg down to? I have no idea because reasons. Well, because I don't have my uh, targeting thing on to set shows where the enemy gets hit. Wow. You really need to go home, buddy. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. 
Okay, what's he got left here? Not very much. Flamer should just be enough, I think. Firing. The shot. There we go. Looks like I'll need a new target. Meltdown. Alright, let's clean this up, guys. Let's clean it up and go home. Be nice to at least be able to start fielding some Omnimex. Oof. It's okay, I'm playing Stompy Stompy Robots with you here. Uh, you're not a range. What about now? Still not a range, eh? Really? Really? Ah, oh, well. Not like Berserker was going to help me any any other way anyway. Alright, fire on this guy. Commander. Roger that. You deal with the Raptor and claim the base. Uh, I'm going to warlord it up. And... Let's hit the swarm ammo again. Does more damage. Firing. Nicely done. Mech destroyed. I'm out of long range missiles. Yeah, you don't need any more. Of that kind anyway. Play that game, we'll play that game. Firing. Really? You had you shoot the arms from the behind, really, really. <sighs> oh man, just costing me sea bills now. Warning, armor low. Yes, commander. Hey, stompy stompy robots, we can hit the, uh, can't get it from anywhere else. Let's just attack it. Ah, not enough, but we did some damage. Reporting critical hit. Nicely done. Ah. Let's see what he does. Come on, buddy. Delaying tactics will not help you. Pew! What now we can play real stompy stompy robots. I copy. Say goodnight. Here we go. One more for the trash heap. Should not have hung around. Good positioning, buddy. I'm gonna make sure you can't shoot me in the or punch me in the back this time. And just in case you're still alive after this. Twenty-five percent chance if we hit to take his head. Let's do this. There it is. Screw you. It's what you get. Well, that was a long fought battle. This will probably cover our repairs. But let's see what we got uh, salvage wise. I don't think we lost any components. We did take a fair bit of damage. Nothing penetrated internally though, which is good. Excellent and excellent. Black Knight doing a significant amount of damage here. That's the perfect mission for the Black Knight. Just getting in there and hammering stuff. Now, do we have any current parts? No, we don't. There's three sun, sun spider parts. Of 
Let's just have a look down here. ATM 9. Clan ERPPC. Clan Large Pulses. Laser AMS. We got like three extras of these, two extras. Medium Pulses, BSPLs, MRMs. Got tons of those. Okay, there's the Clan Ultra 20. Definitely something we want to look into. Ooh, large combat shield. We got one still. Want another one? I think it's... Yeah, I think it's pretty vital we grab start grabbing things like that. Ah, this is good sea bills. Fire control system improved. Um, double heat sinks. Light active probe. Tons of patchwork materials. Powered sensor. Slick void system weapon mount. Uh, I think that's definitely a must. Now, the Ultra 20 ammo. We've got four. I don't want to waste a pick, though, in clan territory for that. And it is really a waste. Although, taking two of these... Oh! 350 core. Gonna drop that in, because we were talking about replacing the 400. And that. If we replace the 400 core and the engine with this and the pirate engine, that might be really good on the Black Knight. I think that's a pretty solid pick right there. I mean, there's lots of stuff here I'd love to take, but I think for advancing right now, that's probably a good way to go. As much as I'd love to take these mech parts, it's not going to get us any further ahead right away. We can wait for a bit and get those. Let's see what we get, though, before I complain here. So we got one, two, three Raptor parts, two Sun Spider parts, okay, and a Vapor Eagle part, not bad. Two v medium VSPLs, MRM-30, which we got tons of, another Klein XL engine, and a seven Patrick materials, ATM ammo. So pretty good overall. Okay. Oh, Jade Falcon's still working their way along. That's excellent. 62,000. So not bad in repairs. Not bad. Made up fairly well on that one, I think. Just the armor repairs and we should be good to go. Let's manage our tasks here. Uh, so Bushwhacker's 10 days and everything else. Yeah, so 10 days we'll be back and we've got 16 days to financial report. Cool. So we've got the ability to, to uh, make that no problem. So we're not going to sell those Clan XL engines. We're going to hold on to them because if we can use them, Definitely will be want to be using them. Um, yeah, so that weapons mount needs to go in somewhere. Um, maybe on one of the two bushwhackers. Don't know yet. Uh, or we're going to bring another mech forward that we can mount the Ultra 20 on, I think. Um, and we need to switch out the engine in the Black Knight. We won't do that right away, though. Uh, we will do that eventually, but not right away. Maybe next episode or the episode after. Um... I'm not going to do it between episodes. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to cost us some C bills, so we want to make sure we do have enough in the bank to be able to handle that without forcing me to sell the Clan XL engines. I'd love to keep those um, just so that we can use them later on. All right, so we're going to end the episode there, guys. I know it was a long one, but uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.